Hey guys, it's Nate here. Welcome back to the Saints Row 4. In the last episode, it was almost 50. It was a 50-minute video by accident. I lose track of time in this game. It's so fun. So you can now pick up and throw around people slash object with telekinesis. Use up to quick switch to telekinesis. Telekinesis element force. The force element causes telekinesis to deal additional damage to a target upon impact. Your homies can help you find more telekinesis elements. Crewmate Sid. The AI has been uploaded into a Sid on the ship. Visit the AI to learn how to further improve your skills. Homie Sid. Sid can be called into a simulation using a hub phone menu. The AI will help the Saints in combat. Gateway South Downtown. New gateway unlocking downtown. Return to the ship. Access your weapons, cash, clothes, vehicles, and gang customization here. Oh my god, there's still more? The balance rifle fires social butterflies, very deadly social butterflies. Equip it all at your gateway weapon cache. Weapon cache. Ghost in the machine. And now what? Okay, no more questions for that one. Go to, go to training program. Mind over murder. So, what is this? Reaction for the win. Genki. Freaking Genki. Welcome to Mind Over Murder. The rules are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hook within the time limit, and you win. Good luck! It's murder time, fun time! So we're doing Geki's mom, technically. <laughs> there are going to be so many jokes throughout this let's play. Alright. Professor Geki's mom. Awesome. Welcome to Professor Geki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's okay, favorite alien overlord, Shinyak! That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Ball Ow. 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. Well, okay. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, yeah, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not oh, to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy together, conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer, and pitting them against each other 
in a superpower fight to the death? Bobby, are you feeling all right? Or they could team up against an army of mascots, flaming mascots, armor, rocket launchers, and RPGs. Gee, that's a fine dream, Bobby, but as you know, the world's biggest badass was locked away years ago. True, but we're not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> no, we're not, Bobby. It's like... Wow, okay, can I still do this? Oh, he's messing me up. What can I say? It's a gift! Here, catch! Oh! That's actually perfect. Here, catch! And that's it for our first match! Excellent job by our contestant! I forgot there were even things by that. <laughs> I can walk like that if I want to. Must be 345 man. I'm supposed to finish before they finish talking. Professor Genki's mom. <laughs> oh. So many so so many jokes. Kinsey what else they got for me besides Genki's mom? If you want the reward, you'll do this. Life steal. I hate him. We need him. It's time to save Matt Miller. Let's break Matt Miller out. Broken Shillelagh. Is that gonna become a gateway? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. I don't think now's the time to be picking. How do we save him? Well, I guess there's a proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. Right on, let's do it. Alright. Oh, what's that thing right there? Press the wrong button once again. A death tag. Fight a friend in co op. There's a lot of co op things there. Uh, oh, I got some, some store hacking. I want to get 30 by the time I get there. over there. Woohoo! Yeah! Everything just lights up like it's a futuristic metropolis. Really? Really when you see it like that. This is pretty cool. Just going around like I've had superpowers in Saints Row forever. Okay, wait, this mission is over, I have to change my clothes in the simulation. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like <laughs> Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing but like Julius. Kenzie, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha, gotcha. Sid. Just gonna stay there. Matt but. Miller, self-proclaimed hacker guy, ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. 
still blame him for crashing our helicopter, and he actually did do that. Oh, God. Kinsey, where's my gun? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Are you kidding? What the fuck is on the screen? It's the command prompt. Just give me a second. Fuck me, not again. Oh, God. The camera's screwed up. Just have to deal with it. Easy for you to say. You're not dealing with the top-down bullshit. Anytime you want to fix this, Kinsey. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. It's really hard to aim. I'm on a roll! Can't be as simple as 3D? Don't enter a space! Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. Uh. Thank you. Oh, there should thank be three you. data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. About time I get to cause some property damage. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with worse. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. What I hope to accomplish is to put a bullet in your fucking head. Uh, Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. I still so have. This is Matt Miller's personal hell. Pretty fine to me. Got a situation here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh, too shy. Swear, if Kinsey was on our side, she would help the net destroy it. Two, one more to go. Yeah, thanks, by the way. For what? For not spawning any more tanks to kill me. God, are you so mad about that? <laughs> I said I was sorry. Surprisingly, near-death experiences tend to stick with you. A lot of unnecessary stuff there. Ow! Whoa! And then I scream where I'm leaving. Not more where that came from. Actually, why? Last tower. Time to tear this bitch down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a walk around. Zinyak. Come on. Oh, tank over here. There are two tanks over here in the beam. That's why I killed both of them. Ah, you can say that's your word, please. It's on the security system. But play a game, play the old. I mean, what do you mean is not to play? At least as a student, not gonna happen. That one garbage. Need some help, Kinsey. Hey, Module something. acid burn. What? Ah, now I'm having fun. What? Right on. Okay. I Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. 
Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and prints his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying... That sounds scary. It's a from like Shakespeare. Man, yeah, fuck Lord. Shakespeare. Jane Austen or go home. I'm I'm right. I'm right. So what am I getting into? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Yeah, who needs a plan when you can just walk into a virtual hell? Ah, ah. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Awesome. Ah, oh, good. Just awesome. What's happening? Um. Um. What? Um... Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty, and even a ship for my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. This can't be good. This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? <laughs> because you used a rocket in place of a bullet. Because you wouldn't submit to my rule. In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. Um... Okay, I know there's an achievement. Uh, with this, so uh, let's do the other one first. Let's do the one where I kill myself first. Kill myself! What the heck? Was that about to show the credits? <laughs> he lied. <laughs> uh. You chose poorly, I told you. There had there so, had to have been an achievement for that. Will you choose a path to extinction? Or will you sacrifice yourself as a savior? 
Ours is not to reason why. Ours is but to do or die. Cause more Make suffering means saving the human race, sucker. This can't be good. This is your life as it led you to this. Shut up! Every time I use the computer like that, someone died of dysentery. Whoa, wait, hold up. Is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. No one fucks with Miller but me. Zinyak, you're gonna pay for this. Without Miss Kenzie, very dumb. All right, look at the computer. It's a computer. What do you do? Really? Approach it. On the screen, one question is asked. What are you? What do you type? I'm awesome. I am sorry. Contractions cannot be read by this program. I am awesome. Wrong answer. What are you? F off. Uh, what? My empire. Not gonna lie. Not I was expecting something a bit more impressive. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. The room has a way to give me a breathtaking view of the cosmos. What do you do? Uh. Um. Ah, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. What is this? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. I don't understand. Is a dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. So why does a pirate have a raven? <sighs> hey. The dull sound of a heartbeat fills the room. What do you do? Touch the pendulum. Uh... Pet the parrot. It's a raven. Uh... Eat the heart? Okay, drink the wine. Wake up. Is this the island that the pirate came from? Must you continue <laughs> to display your plebeian intelligence? Shit, man, I'm just asking a question. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta -ta. Okay. Who else is here? Make a raft out of seagull corpses and kale. The warm water of the ocean laps at your face. You sit up and find yourself on a small desert, deserted island, isolated adrift alone. What do you do? Uh, probably not the most... Building radio was easier than you expected. Syndicated reruns have given you the tools you need to survive. Sadly, you have no place to plug it in. Uh, you don't have any nails. Uh, okay. Make two martini glasses out of coconuts. You crudely fashion a pair of cocktail glasses and fill them with coconut milk. Uh, drink the milk. It's not good. Not melon ball good, but good. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Matt had it real bad. A beautiful dominatrix emerges from the only shadow on the island. What do you say? Your mom's asleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. I never get any visitors and your first person that shows up and treat me like dirt. I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're right. She takes a moment to wipe her eyes with her fur-lined leather cuffs. So why are you here? What do you say? I want to rescue Matt Miller. Matt, Sad. it's time for you to pick up the phone and see the real world. I wasn't done with him yet. She sighs. Then you will have to fight my Matt Miller's most feared pro opponent. What do you say? And who's that? Kill Bane. God dang it. The dominatrix fades away and before you stands Kill Bane. The saints think they can defeat me again? No, this time Matty I should do it. Oh, I'm fighting. Then where's Matt? Son, what? What do you say? Let's do this. Kill Bane laughs. Do you really think a wimp like Matty can defeat me? Matt Miller cowers a bit. I don't think I can do this. What do you say? I know you can beat him. Matt Miller weekly nods. All right then. So what do you do? Pull Kill Bane into a false sense of security. Uh, taunt. Kill Bane laughs. Who? Okay. Cowards a bit. I. What? Uh, lull Kill Bane into a false sense of security. What? Okay. Taunt. What? What is going on? Punch. Okay. Matt Miller winds up in. T <laughs> it was just putting me back in the same place. Matt Miller winds up and takes a swing, hitting Kilbane in the jaw. Kilbane yells, Ow! What the... was that? What the nether was that? What should Matt do? Uh... Dodge Kilbane... I don't think so. What? Matt Miller dodge fails. It's again hard. What should Matt do? Back away. Okay. I know you can beat him. Punch. Punch Kilbane again. Matt Miller takes advantage of Kilbane's surprise and punches him again. Kilbane yells it's impossible. What should Matt do? 
punch with a mighty swing. Matt Miller third, not Miller's third hit in a row sends Killian crashing into to the ground unconscious. Matt Miller shouts, "I did it! I won!" What'd you say? Told you, kid. Matt Miller breathes a sigh of relief. I knew you'd get me out of this. Now can I get out of this antique of a game? Time to go, Matt. A large ringing device appears before Matt Miller. A coiled wire connects two pieces, and a massive dial, not unlike the chamber of a revol revolver, rests in its center. What should Matt do? Pick up the phone. What else? That blue screen scared me a little bit. That was long. Is it over? I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You need help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak Chef. Freaking spawning now. Finally. How do we get him onto our ship? What is that? So what else do we have to do to get him on our ship? Gateway for me to open up island in the south. Um, retrieve him. All right. Where's Kinsey? Oh, he's on the other side. There's a lot of places in this. Okay. Big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kenzie, this is not a time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. <laughs> Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. I was talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing? Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith. <laughs> this is gonna be... Well, bad for the aliens, but good for me. I gotta say bad. It's supposed to make that noise? Are you breaking my power armor? Uh Maybe? If you do damage the power armor, you can find the repair kits in some of the storage crates. I mean, shoot. <laughs> Can't wait to use the guns on this bad boy. Oh, um, I do have time to get them working, so... Kenzie, are you fucking kidding me? I found his power armor. Kenzie, Kenzie, how the hell am I supposed to get this thing through the door? Ugh. Oh my god, this is a real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and oh look, Kenzie, you weave wings like a goddess with a brush. Okay, okay, alright. I'll geez. figure something out. Still, could have found Girl, some you gotta help me out here. This thing doesn't have fingers. How the fuck am I getting this door open? Brute force works. All right. Before I even went over More to in. You take care of what's there, and I'll make sure we don't alert the others. Done and 
Ah, nice. It looks like they won't be on this kid, see? Can we wait this long to have a robot? This is what I dreamed of when I was in third grade. Only I was killing a lot fewer people in my third grade. <laughs> of course. Oh my god. It's so hard to fight without guns. That's the only thing they're doing is shooting you. Inside prison. All those things are full of people, aren't they? Maybe, but I don't think the Venom does humans exclusively. Why is it? Let me go down, but it's fucking here. What are the bodies broken? Any chance that's the one Matt was in? Fuck if I know. It's not like someone left a note. Mm, I think it was Matt. Matthew. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> you see what I just did right there? I was hoping you'd find some pants, Matt. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they had. But I didn't realize they had robots. That's what I'm saying. Kenzie's trying to call this shit power armor. So, not a robot? What kind of firepower does that make happen? Kinsey said the guns are missing stuff. <laughs> Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. I just remembered I'm recording. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Distance oh, traveled in next week. I'm go over there and kill him too. I'm go over there and help. Anytime you want to wrap up, it's cool with me, Matt. You worry about your job and let me do mine! Jesus. Immediately get defensive over everything. Kinsey and Matt. Defend me already! Hey, Matt. Oh, well, they're just straight shooting him, aren't they? I am the one who knocks. Get to me and I'll set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's a real fancy gun, Matt. More than just a gun. Good job, Matt. Fire cannons, launch rockets, dash. 
whenever they dash. Alright, got the enemies already. Yes. It's not much different from a next RPG. I got this. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on out here. This is so much better than blood trauma. What? Oh. Is that when he got is that when he was in a coma? I'd like one of these for everyday use. I'm unstoppable. Get too ahead of yourself. Just me. Where you at? I'm close. I'm on the line. Where's Matt? But I'll be there as soon as I can. There's more of them coming. Ain't no one can top me. Hey, that's why I'm supposed to be doing spray like I am. Please. Just put on some pants. They're on their tail. Get to the turret. Get in the turret, man. What the heck? Oh. Try to keep up, Matt. Please. If your aim was any worse, you'd be shooting yourself. Come on, man. Let's do this every time we get someone. Don't fuck up, Matt. Keith's watching you. That is Mr. Keith David to you. Oh, come on. Oh, that's kind of funny. What's it take to kill this thing? Where's 
a force field on this thing. Hey, where'd that ship go? I'm not sure! Uh, Look good. at us, killing everything in sight. Is this what being a sociopath feels like? Oh, sorry, man. Yes. I was busy thrilled. Oh, fuck. Hey, remember that big ship you were asking about? Kinsey, I know the obvious. Nice. Where'd it go? Hang on. I think we lost it. I'm in front of a passageway. I'll need a minute to open the door. Dude. Okay, get ready. Oh my get god. Shit. What's it doing, Kinsey? Wait, wait, I mean, the way, the way. Kinsey! Sorry, I'm facing the other way. Oh. God dang it, Kinsey. God, almost screwed our sh ship up. I meant to say ship, but I didn't know where I was going with that sentence. I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? We need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell has been trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Sean, the... Johnny's alive. Boss. Huh? Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shondi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Uh, well, let's... That's cool. Alright, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like it if you did. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more from Gamers on Deuce Mode, and we'll see you in the next episode. Go shows.